Welcome back for a tech review and performance comparison on our LSA H2650i RP edition. Over four years ago, we released our LSA H2650i into the market. It's a direct replacement for the LSA 1900 supercharger. It uses the TVS 2650 rotor pack and uses all of the ancillaries from the LSA engine. So a factory LSA lid, factory fuel rails, the factory throttle body position makes it interchangeable. For over 10 years, the engine's been extremely popular with OEM applications in the US with the Z01 Camaro and CTSV Cadillac, and locally, HSV use the LSA in a number of their high performance models that we've been enhancing here in Australia for over a decade. The supercharger has been very popular with engine builders as well, both here and in the US. Wagner Automotive do their beautiful front drive systems and a very nice billet low profile lid, and have built many engines using the H2650i. We're also great partners with Mars Motorsports in Texas. They have a lot of high performance customers, but also an industrial engine program that uses alternative fuel. It's LS based 7.2 liters, featuring our H2650i supercharger. And being for commercial vehicles, they've actually got OEM grade GM durability testing, which is an absolute credit to the quality and the manufacturing that happens here at Harrop, and also the assembly of that engine at Mars Motorsports. Here in Australia, we've got a fantastic dealer network and a few of our premium dealers that are building excellent LS engine combinations with the H2650i include Warspeed Industries in Sydney, Sam's Performance, who built this engine just here that we'll talk about shortly, and also High Torque Performance in Queensland, who build a lot of LS combinations for high-end customer builds that make max effort numbers. That brings us to the recent release of our RP edition. RP stands for race port, it's a developed inlet tract as cast that delivers high performance at higher RPM with some great results over the standard unit. The all important performance comparison we've been assessing with many different applications. High torque performance up in Queensland, they built a 427LS with Higgins race heads, 10.5 compression, E85, running our RP and standard back to back with the same pulley ratio of 3.38 also running our 115 throttle, our 12 rib drive system, and also our LSA lid with a larger intercooler. With the standard H2650i, peak power was 1,011 horsepower on their mainline Pro Hub. With no other changes and a direct swap to the RP lower manifold, the power went up to 1,089 horsepower. That's a 78 horsepower gain at 7,400 RPM. With a 19 PSI peak boost with the standard edition, and 20 and a half PSI, one and a half pounds greater at the same RPM with the RP edition, highlighting the efficiency of more air being moved. For our own test program, we partnered with Sam's Performance up in Sydney, who put together this great engine package for us. It's an LSR block, it's got Higgins race heads, compression's 10 and a half to one, we're on E85, it's running our billet fuel rails, our larger lid and intercooler, it's got the 12 rib drive system, and a 115 integrated throttle that we supply. And we did the exact back-to-back -back comparison with a 3.38 pulley ratio, that's a 254 millimeter lower pulley and a 75 upper pulley. We started with the standard H2650i and we saw peak power of 1227 horsepower at 6800 RPM with peak boost of 23.3 PSI. Really solid numbers for this type of engine combo.
Next up was our race port addition with no other changes and the same 3.38 pulley ratio on E85, we ran it up and achieved peak horsepower of 1,304 horsepower at 6,950 RPM with a decent jump in boost to 26.2 PSI, almost three PSI gained over the standard supercharger. So with a blower speed close to 24,000, we're seeing a 77 horsepower gain over the two superchargers back to back. A great result, highlighting the efficiency of what the RP can achieve at higher RPM. Looking a little bit closer with the graphs overlaid, you can see that the RP is actually giving up a little bit to the standard supercharger at the start of the run. So at 4,000 RPM, the RP is at 18.6 PSI and the standard unit is at 20.2 PSI. Moving through the curve at 5,000 RPM, the standard unit is at 21.8 PSI and the RP jumps to 23.4 PSI and that gap just grows throughout the run. So at 6,000 RPM, the standard unit is at 22.2 PSI and the RP 24.5 PSI, finishing with at 7,000 RPM, 26.2 on the RP and 23.3 on the standard unit. Clearly moving more air at the same blower speed. It's awesome to see over a 70 horsepower gain on these max effort seven litre combinations. We've also seen performance on a 6.2 litre with lower boost levels in that 40 to 50 horsepower range, highlighting the performance potential of the RP. And our engineering efforts are always ongoing. We've recently also released a billet throttle body adapter for the Nick Williams 120 throttle body. It suits the electric power steering cars like we have here with the HSVs, just giving another option for more inlet area. Available now globally through our dealer network, and you can learn more on our US and Aussie websites, including a great tech guide that can be downloaded. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.